Hello bees, your queen has arrived. Today I wanted to go over the newest Minecraft snapshot, bees. I thought it was so adorable and I just really wanted to do a video on it. I even made this super cute beekeeper outfit, you know, safety first. So I'm going to go over the basics for everything you need to know about bees in Minecraft. And if you've already seen videos on this, you can fast forward to this timestamp to get some decorating tips for beekeeping. So in your world, you might find these bees flying around and they are looking for flowers to pollinate and create honey for their bee nest. So bee nests naturally spawn in flower forests, plains, and some flower plain biomes. So it looks like this little guy is having trouble finding some flowers. So I'm gonna go ahead and plant different variations of flowers to see if this bee enjoys dandelions. Oh, hello. Are you coming to me? Oh, look, it looks like he is pollinating. It's a very happy bee. So I'm going to go ahead and plant different types of flowers to see which flower this bee. I know I'm your queen. Stop following me. <laughs> Do I have a new friend? This bee has found its queen. Okay, I'm going to give this bee a couple friends to help create some honey for that nest. They are so adorable and happy. This just makes the world so much more lively. I love this addition. So while the bees are collecting, you can see one just entered the nest right there. We should be getting some honey in this nest. So if you want to grow your bee population, you can do that by breeding. And all you have to do is give a bee a flower. So here we'll go ahead and breed you guys and they'll create a tiny little baby bee. Oh, it's not that much smaller, but oh my gosh, it looks like you're holding the flower. Take that. Go ahead. Make some bee babies. I know they all love the flowers. All right. Cute. So that's going to help with our nest over here, hopefully, by creating more bees to collect some pollen for us. So if you want to collect a nest, you'll have to have a couple things. First off, we need to place a campfire underneath the nest so that the smoke calms the bees. So once all the bees are inside of their nest, grab a pickaxe with silk touch on it and go ahead and mine the nest. So you'll have all of the bees inside of the nest and you can place it wherever you like in the world. So if you find a hive that is dripping with honey, you can try to harvest it, but you wanna make sure to calm the bees first. So place down a campfire underneath so the smoke calms the bees. Then what you wanna do is either grab a glass bottle or shears, and let's just go ahead and shear this and see what happens. Woo, some honeycombs. I already have a stack here, but let's pretend like I don't have those. Once you've grabbed your honeycombs, get rid of the campfire and let the bees continue to collect pollen. So now that we have honeycombs, we can create a bee hive so we can raise our bees wherever we like. So in order to do this, simply go onto your crafting table, grab three honeycombs along with some planks, and now you've created a bee hive. So let's go ahead and place this down. So now that we have our hive, let's go ahead and place a couple bees around to see if they will like the hive. Oh, I think a bee just went inside. Did you hear it? I can hear him in there. So now our bee has found a new home and we can create honey by our house and create our own bee farm. So now for the fun part, the bee farms. I wanted to create a few variations of bee farms and show you how to do them in hopes of inspiring you to create your own bee farms. Okay, let's start off with the simplest design. Remember, we need to have space underneath for the fire. So we can place the fire right down here and it's easy to harvest the honey. You could also place another hive right on top of this. A couple more trap doors. And there you have a really simple design for harvesting honey. Line them all up in a row and you have a little farm. For a cleaner look, you can get rid of the fences and just place down the trap doors so they act as a small table for the hive. You could still fit a campfire right underneath. 
This next design is still very simple, but very effective for small spaces. You can also place hay underneath the fire so the smoke can go higher. I didn't mean for that to rhyme. Place a few flowers for added decoration and you have a super cute bee farm. This next design is a little bit larger. We are going to create a little bee house. You can make this as big or small as you want and you can actually live inside with your bees. some lanterns, flowers, and banners for a really cute home touch. And what I thought was really cool is that you can use the bushes to actually hide the fire. Well, I hope this gives you some ideas for your own beekeeping. If you enjoyed this video, please let me know, leave a like. This is my first time doing this design type video and I have a lot of fun doing it. So if you enjoy it, let me know, leave a like, leave a comment down below what else you would like me to design. Thank you all so much for watching and happy beekeeping!